In this video, I'll explain how to get the performance review process started. In small improvements, performance reviews are organized into cycles. All the reviews in a given cycle share the same timeline and questionnaire. To start the review process, we'll set up a new cycle. To do this, you'll need to complete the following steps before the cycle becomes live. Provide the basic information about the cycle. Set up the timeline. Define the questions that will appear on the review. Create reviews for chosen employees. And finally, inform reviewers about the cycle. Go to the Review tab on the left-hand side and select Settings. Here you can see all of the performance review cycles. But to create a new one, click the button Create a new performance review cycle. The first step is to provide the cycle with basic information. You'll need to set the name, time period under review, and provide the cycle a short description. Next, you'll need to define the cycle's timeline, the due dates for each step in the process. Remember to give employees plenty of time. We recommend allowing around a week to finish each step, but you can adjust it if your employees need more time. First, you'll want to define when the cycle begins. Emails about the cycle can be sent on this date. Next, when the employee and then their manager need to finish their assessment. The next date is when the manager and employee should have met to review their assessments. Once this has been done, they will sign the reviews. The final date is when Small Improvements closes the cycle. No reviews can be modified after the cycle closes, so it's good to have a little padding here too, in case some employees run late. The next step is to define the questions that will be answered for the review. All employees reviewed in this cycle will answer the same questions, so if you want to review everyone in this single cycle, choose relatively general questions. That way, they'll be relevant to all employees regardless of their job function. Remember, you're after qualitative feedback to help your employees develop. So let's add a third question, but you can ask as many as five questions to gather your feedback. Complete the cycle setup by deciding whether to include the overall rating for the employee and manager and the 2D self-assessment graph in your reviews. To finish the setup of the cycle, click the Create This Performance Review Cycle button. We now have to create reviews for all chosen employees to participate in this review. There are a few different ways that we can do this, either one at a time by typing in their names, by managerial team by typing in the manager, which selects everyone in that department, or creating them for individuals by list. Since we chose questions that are relevant to all employees, we'll create reviews for everyone at once by clicking the bulk create button. The last step to complete is to notify the participants of the cycle that their review is ready to begin. Do this by clicking through to the overview page. Each line on the overview page is a performance review. In the middle column, we see the reviewee, and on the left-hand side, we can see their manager. You can still modify the list of reviews before you send the emails if you'd like. Here we've decided not to review the interns, so we delete their reviews from the list. Trigger the notification email by clicking the Inform Reviewees About Their Reviews button. Employees will be able to get started by clicking on a link provided in that email. This overview page is where administrators can see all the cycle's reviews on one screen and track everyone's progress. You can easily switch between cycles by using the drop-down menu in the top left side of the page. Let's switch to a sample cycle so we can see what the overview page looks like after employees have made some progress. This screen is also color-coded by status like a traffic light. Reviews begin red, turn yellow when employees get started, and green once they share. When reviews are signed, they turn black and white again. Here we can see that Chris hasn't started on his manager assessments of Marsha and Mark yet, so we can nudge him to remind him to get started. To hear even more details about setting up cycles and tracking progress, check out the Advanced Administration video for performance reviews.